Homeowners insurance can be hard to get these days. Some companies are not writing any new policies. Others are dropping longtime customers. Yeah, among them, an East Bay man who was told he lost his insurance based on photos taken by a drone over his property. Yeah, seven on your side's Michael Finney says uh, that came, as I, you can imagine, as a real shock. Uh, this is a, a very interesting story. You'll be thinking about your home during this. At first, this guy was told he'd lost his insurance because drone photos taken over his property showed hazards in his yard. But the company would not show him the pictures. Later, he was told there was no drone, just aerial photos. He thought it was intruding on his privacy and with no way to get his policy reinstated. Up, up here, up there, over there. Over there. <laughs> Drones sometimes fly over C.J. Sven's Oakley house. He never thought much of it until now. Apparently they have some pictures and noticed clutter. C.J. was shocked when he got this notice from his longtime home insurance carrier, CSAA. Set up for non-renewal. They're going to be terminating our homeowner's insurance policy. His house isn't in a fire zone, and he's never filed a single claim in 15 years. Instead, the notice said CSAA found clutter, hazardous waste, tires, and a dilapidated car in his yard. But how could they make such a claim? No one had been by to inspect the house. So CJ called the company. They said, oh, well, no, we sent over a drone. I'm like, oh, they have a drone that they sent over my property and I don't know, flew down into my yard. <laughs> they said, we had a drone. We've seen your house, your property. That's why we're denying you. Correct. He says CSAA would not let him see the drone photos or give him a chance to clear his yard. And she mentioned, oh, well, no, at this point, it's too late. Uh, we're not going to reconsider. But CSAA later told CJ it did not use a drone. Instead, it reviewed aerial images taken by fixed plane or satellite. Still, the company would not show those images to CJ or to Seven on your side. We flew our own drone to show how it looks from up there. It's not dangerous. It's not neglected. I mean, we are back here. We are using these things. CJ also took me on a ground-level tour and admits the yard is cluttered, but he's a do-it-yourself guy. Uh, this is my original, my first car that I got. He's restoring his 1966 Chevy. It's still in pretty good shape for going through a teenage years. <laughs> A little bit of rust, but he installed his own solar panels and he changes his own tires each season. He says it's a lifestyle, not a hazard. We were just found guilty and punished and we had no idea, no warning, no uh, opportunity to mitigate the situation. CJ complained to the State Department of Insurance. In a reply, the company said images showed, quote, debris that resembles wood and cardboard. A gray truck with debris on the bed. A tan vehicle with debris on top. Yeah, I kind of was offended. I, you know, how dare you judge me for my stuff? I, I have, yes, I have stuff. The company also said, while you may have had your insurance with the company for many years, paid your premiums and not filed claims, those factors are not considerations when evaluating property risk. Sorry, you know, we're done. You know, have a nice day. What do I do? I, I don't understand. Insurance companies are increasingly using tools like aerial photography to assess the risk on your house, CSAA told us. You can go online to services like Google Earth 3D and you'll get a pretty good idea what companies may be looking at when they assess the risk of insuring your property. As for the legality of taking drone pictures over a house, well, state law only forbids that if you're specifically doing so as a sort of peeping Tom. Really? Now, if you're not doing it for that reason, have at it. Yeah, that wow. yeah. changes the game a little bit. It does. Yeah. All right, thank you, Michael. Sure.